Welcome and hello. Let's talk the news. Today is June 22nd, 2024. Today marks the day. Apparently, the Supreme Court has a line when it comes to guns. If you drag your girlfriend through a parking lot, waving a gun around, threaten and then proceed to shoot at witnesses, while later getting involved in no less than five other shootings, it is okay to infringe upon your right to have a gun, as Zaki Rahimi found out from the latest Supreme Court ruling. There was only one dissenting opinion, though, from guess who? Everyone's easily honeypotted Justice Clarence Thomas, where he offered the reasoning that if this guy can have his guns taken away, it can happen to you. In short, this holds up a decades-old federal law, USC 18922GB G8, uh, which says that you can be disarmed if you are a person with a court order restraining you from harassing, stalking, or threatening an intimate partner or a child of such partner. Yes, there's a lot of exemptions that still allows this to take place and has over the years. Yes, there's also problems of proving someone represents a credible threat to even qualify. But hey, if, a big if here, you check all those boxes, then yes, Clarence Thomas is right. They could come after your guns. The poop is getting real. The U.S. and China are continuing their official, not official, talks about nuclear weaponry. Last year, there were some talks back and forth to gain assured assuredness that our involvement in defending Taiwan wouldn't cause nukes to rain down from the heavens. The delegates who showed up, who did not have official authority to say one way or the other, said, Nah, we'd never do that to you, USA, because we have enough conventional military power to defend our right to own Taiwan. Just in Chinese, I assume. Uh, the U.S. continues to weigh options and seek more official negotiations, which often get tied to other deals that are being made. These talks were going pretty smoothly until 2019, when Trump's administration pulled out of them and defunded the Track 2 talks, which get these dialogues going. More talks are planned for next year, and if it helps, China still only has about one-tenth of the number of warheads as the United States. And by far, Russia is still super high on that list as well. In fact, more than us. As a consolation prize, it only costs us about $75 billion per year to maintain our nuclear force. Basically, chump change. Am I right? Last on the list, everyone's favorite, polling. A new Fox News poll suggested that Biden was two points higher than Trump. People on both sides are going crazy over these two points, not the least of which is Donald Trump bemoaning in it being incorrect, while liberals were preemptively celebrating this as a turning of the tide. Both responses are just ridiculous. It's one poll, within two points of another, with a margin of error of plus or minus 3%, making this a non-starter problem. There's far more important poll numbers for Biden and Trump to be worried about. In the same poll, despite lots of economic markers getting better over the past year, 68% of people still view the current state of the nation's economy to be not so good or poor. That's a big negative for Biden. For Trump, Nikki Haley has been out of the race for months, and she was still taking 20-25% to 25 of primaries. Even after endorsing Trump, she was pulling 10%, and in some cases more. This should be seen as a protest vote that certainly will not help Trump on November 5th. We'll wait to see if he's the first president elected from behind bars or not still. But either way, this election season is shaping up to be very close. And on to some lighter news. What mass shootings happened yesterday? In Washington, D.C., on the corner of 14th Place and Savannah Street, southeast, four people were injured. Everyone was transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, thankfully. There's not a lot of other details. In Fordyce, Arkansas, at 920 West 4th Street, 10 people were injured, three of which were killed. Two, three additional people were killed. Sorry, two of those injured were officers. And this was outside of just a grocery store. The suspect in this case was shot and taken into custody by local law enforcement. And let's end on a very controversial topic. Should pickles be banned from being served with sandwiches? I say no. I like having a pickle up front because it lowers my expectations with its disgusting flavor, in turn making the sandwich all that much better. Your thoughts in the comments below. This video is brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee's so good, it'll wake the dead.